Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am so excited to bring you the official second upload of the Harry Potter Advent Calendar Christmas. The video that you will see before this, which is why I'm still in the same clothes, because I filmed them on the same day, is the first day unboxing of my Harry Potter Pop Funko Advent Calendar, and you will see that video. It's going up the same time as this one, within a few minutes. But just, yeah. So today, since it's the first day and I thought I would do a magical double upload, I'm going to take you guys through my entire Harry Potter collection. So it's going to be a long video, I think, I don't know. I'll try to make it as quick as I can, but also keep it fun and tell you about the stuff. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. What to talk about is the movies. Now, I don't think I need to show you all eight movies. I do own all eight Harry Potter movies, um, and I don't think I need to show you them. But I do have, of course, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and I do have the Fantastic Beasts Crimes of Grindelwald. So I do have these movies. I also have the Harry Potter a History of Magic. And if you're a Harry Potter lover and you haven't seen this movie, you need to. Like, rent it, buy it. It was like $6 at Target, I think. Um, it's with Ivana Lynch, Warwick Davis, and they play um, Luna Lovegood and Professor Flitwick and also Griphook. Um... And it just talks about the start of Harry Potter, the beginning of J.K. Rowling writing it. Some of the history that is actually in Harry Potter in terms of spells, plans, things that you see about in the movie. How they designed things. And I just thought it was really, really interesting. Actually, I'm going to show you this. Um, this is my second edition of the Harry Potter series. And this is the front. And then the books in the back, the bindings make up Hogwarts Castle. And I believe these are the hand-painted set. I do not have the 20th edition because that would make three editions of my Harry Potter books. And while, yes, I clearly want all three editions, spatially wise, I don't think I have the room between these and the US versions I have and a few of the British versions I just don't have the space um, but who knows maybe I will get them at some point but I do have two complete sets I have this set and I have the US American version and I think I have two of the British versions so the next books I want to talk about is I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child of course I got this on release day I uh like pre-ordered it and it's the special rehearsal edition and it is part one and part two and it is so good um i cannot wait for this to come to chicago i hope it does because i will be first in line to see it and i'm so excited and then the next two books now these I want to actually give myself a pat on the back because I had these books before they were big and you will know by how they look. I have the original Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Ages. Now these I got at a book fair I want to say. I think I was maybe like 10 or 11. And Scholastic had a book fair, and um, these were the books. And this is not so much the story as we see in Fantastic Beasts Where to Find Them. Sorry. This is like the legit book that like Newt Scamander wrote, which I think is really, really cool. Because um, I don't even know if you can get these anymore. If you can, um, you can probably find them online. But I love that it says property of Harry Potter and then on the front cover so shared by Ron Weasley because his fell apart. And then it has a whole little thing between him and Harry. And Quidditch Through the Ages says property of Hogwarts. And then um, in the front cover it has like a library. Like the little thing that like you write when you check out the book or it's stamped. 
And you can see that Fred Weasley had it, Hermione Granger had it, and then Harry Potter. And it has the dates, and you can see that Oliver Wood, Cedric Diggory, and then a bunch, Katie Bell, um, a bunch of other people. And I thought that was really cool, and I'm really glad I still have these when people told me to get rid of them, but never. And then the last book is, of course, I have my Tales of the Tales of the Beetle the Bard. And this is cool because I, this was totally an impulse buy, but I love that it has, like, the wizard and the hopping pot. It has, um, obviously it has the three brothers. Um... It has the Fountain of Fortune, the Warlock, and the Hairy Heart, Babby Rabbity and her Crackling Stump, which is Ron's favorite. Um, and then, of course, it has the Tale of the Three Brothers, which, as we all know, is the beginning of the Deathly Hollows. <laughs> um, and then it also has intermittently sparse. It has... Um, Albus Dumbledore on the stories, like his take on them, and I just think that that's a cool little um, thing they do. On to the next section, which is clothing. Now, I wish I had more Harry Potter clothes because I, I love them and they're usually really comfy, but I don't have a lot, so I figured I would do that next. And this is all I have, which is not a lot. I have my... I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good t-shirt, which I believe is from Hot Topic. And that's just what it looks like. And I like that it has a little feet. I have, and I believe this was from Kohl's. Which if you don't know what Kohl's is, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I believe this is from Kohl's. And this was in the junior section. This is a junior extra large. But it says, and I saw this and I was like amazed, it says the wand chooses the wizard. And I will probably be wearing this the rest of the videos because I love this shirt and I think that I should be wearing a magical shirt as I do all these other videos. And then I have this shirt which is not technically licensed Harry Potter or anything. Um, it just says potted. <laughs> um, it says potted on it. And this is from the Potted Potter, which is kind of a weird comedic telling of Harry Potter. Um, it's books one through seven, and it was just really, really, really funny. And then I have my favorite things ever. I have my pajama pants, which I wear as sweats, but I believe these are pajama pants. I have my Hogwarts, or no, this is my Gryffindor, sorry. This is my Gryffindor, and it has the Gryffindor crest on it, and then it just says Gryffindor down the leg. And these, I believe, were also from Hot Topic. And then identical to those, I have the ones that say Hogwarts, and it has the Hogwarts crest on the top with the um, saying on it and the four houses. And then, like the other ones, it just says Hogwarts down the leg. Which, these are absolutely some of my favorite things to wear in the winter months and when it's getting cold because, yes. So now we are on to the kind of miscellaneous section. This is just things that I have collected and that I've gotten that are Harry Potter related. But I'm going to start with chocolate frog things because I have three of them. I have the first chocolate frog item, which is this big pillow Big fluffy pillow and says Honeydukes Chocolate Frog made 70% 70, 70 finest croak koa, which I think is hilarious. And it has all the embroidery. And then what's cool about this is, if I can find it, when you unzip it, it opens up and inside is a removable little chocolate frog plushie. And I just think that that's so cute. And I think it's so fun. And that's what kind of stuffs the pillow, even though there is some stuffing in the top section um, to make it fluffy. That's, I feel like, what kind of gives the pillow its stuffiness and it's just kind of fluffy thing. So there's that. And this was from Barnes & Nobles. 
Then, along with the chocolate frog, I have this little trinket box, which is ceramic. And the detailing on this is just amazing. And it's so beautiful. And this is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. But you can find them on Amazon, and you can find it on the Wizarding World website at Shop Universal something, I think. Um, but yes, this was a Christmas present from last year. And then the last chocolate frog thing I have comes from Barnes & Noble's, and it is a replica chocolate frog. And this is a licensed, trademarked item from Warner Brothers, and it has this. And you open it, and inside is a little kind of plasticky, gummy frog. And then it comes with a wizarding card, and I have Dumbledore. And he moves, and on the back it has the information, just like the original wizarding cards would. And then you just kind of put the chocolate frog back in his little thing, and put the lid back on and this is a prop replica um so this is like uh actual like prop replica that they used i think at least that's what it says on the box it's a prop replica so yeah it, next thing i have is one of my favorite items and that is my little purple pygmy puff can you hear it it makes sounds it purrs this is my pygmy puff. I, she's purring. I adopted her two Christmases ago, and she is my little purple pygmy puff, and she has little pygmy puff feet and little pygmy puff face, and I love her. And yes, I still have the tags on her, and she is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and she's just adorable. And she lives on my bedside table, and this lives on my bed. So the rest of the miscellaneous section is just some fun little stuff that I found. Um, I have my Deathly Hollows necklace. I have my own flying snitch, which came, which these do pop out. Um, so don't be alarmed that I broke it. No, they're meant to. Um, my little flying snitch, which also came from Barnes & Noble. It came from a box that you basically make I guess but I have my own little flying snitch that comes with a stand I have the movable and bendable picket the bow truckle who lives on the Harry Potter shelf which I have done a video of that um, over the summer if you want to find that you can I have my Harry Potter light up wand which you just press the button and it lights up but it goes in the stand and yeah this is also from Barnes and Nobles um this is from another one of those things that you like build it's the Slytherin locket yes it is not the best replica but it does open which I think is if I can it does open which I think is actually kind of cool but for some reason I cannot get it open I had it open the other day there we go it does open so you can put something in there I don't but um it actually is really detailed if you can see it it is actually really really detailed and then um another one of my favorite things is my time turner now this is not the Noble Collection, I got this off Amazon. Yes, it is metal and it does spin in all the ways that it should. <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. And the sand really does go through the hourglass. And yeah, I, am, I really do want the official Noble Collection one at some point. But um, we'll see. So that was my Harry Potter collection. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy Harry Potter Advent Calendar Christmas. And I hope you enjoy the unboxing of the Pop Funko Calendar and all the little people that we get and all the fun little new pops that we're going to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for 
daily videos of the calendar and then some double uploads on some fun weeks. So yeah, I will see you guys next time and I will see you guys tomorrow for the day two of the Harry Potter calendar unboxing and I will see you guys later.